Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. Join me on the Eagle Moss Aston Martin DB5. I am on issue 11. Now, in issue 11, it is broken down into four stages. So we are going to begin with stage 39, 40, 41, and 42. Those will be videos that will be published separately just so I can keep things organized and you can see each stage as they go along. Now sometimes you may not, we may not even build anything in those stages. So the difference for you is if you subscribe to this you'll receive issue 11 and four parts packs and with those four parts packs you'll have plenty to do, plenty to build uh, plenty to read in the magazine and just plenty to do. So for yourself, it makes no difference. You'll have plenty to do each uh, issue that you'll receive in the mail per month. Myself, I like to split them up into the videos to keep your attention, make the videos shorter. If I was to combine them all together, you're looking at between a 30 minute and 45 minute video. And I can't keep uh, my audiences engaged when my videos are that long. So also, um, while filming this, I didn't receive a nice chart that Peter Lowe, one of my viewers, sent me. Peter sent me a chart of the screws and how they're broken down by issue and what screws you receive per issue. It makes it nice. So, for example, you may receive some screws in issue 37, but you actually don't use them until issue 42. So, whatever screws you get per issue, save them. Also, save the spares that you get, because you may need them later on. So, this chart, I'm going to go ahead and show it in the, this video, and uh, so you can see it. Also, if you'd like to download the chart, I have started a new Facebook group. For this build, head over to Facebook and please join the group. I put a link below in the description where you can access that Facebook group and you'll be able to download that file. So let's get started on stage 39. Here's a magazine for issue 11. I'll open it up to the first page which is your table of contents and in here tells you how you can subscribe to this. If you haven't subscribed to it please head down to my description below. I put a link in there and you go head right over to Eagle Moss to subscribe to this. They're, they're very friendly, great customer service over there and they'll set you up with a, a new subscription to this. So we get into first off is all, all the car parts that are included with issue 11 and we'll break that down into stages and of course this stage in this video we'll be covering stage 39 stage 39 we're dealing with the left door panel window and window frame we'll skip through Let's move on move on to the first article which is an article about Carol bouquet and uh, she played Melina Havelock in For Your Eyes Only so it's a wonderful article about her she's a French actress beautiful lady and then they get into an article about Octopussy and which was released the 6th of June 1983 it, uh, made hundred. 83.7 million dollars at the box office. A few pages on that. That's pretty frightening, that octopus on top there. Got quite a quite a good articles here. A lot going on. That's what I like about 
these magazines, they give you a lot of information that you wouldn't know otherwise or know where to find otherwise. Then another article about uh, uh, Maud Adams, starring as one of the main female characters in The Man with the Golden Gun. And another article with uh, Louise Jordan. And then they get into some stunts, and they, with this stunt here, they talk about the sky-high skirmishes happening in the air there. So that's, Bond has always been known for these crazy, exorbitant fights in the middle of nowhere, way up high, high altitude, those types of things. And then a view to a kill. We get into that. The release date was 22nd of May, 1985. And that brought in 152.4 million at the box office. So we get a few pages on that article down here about Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we get Christopher Walken here too. Pretty cool. An article here on uh, Fiona Fullerton. So very nice. And I think that's it, right? Yep, that's it. So let's uh, look at the parts for stage 39. I'll be right back. Here's the parts pack for stage 39. And looks like we have some door components in there. So I'll take all this out and we'll get a closer look. I'll be right back. Here's a close-up of the parts. We get the left door panel. Of course, we get the window and the window frame. All these parts are plastic. The chrome on the window frame is very nice. Very high quality chrome. Looks very good. Clear parts. Plastic also like I was saying earlier. And very nice there. And we can see what the back side of the door panel looks like. So let's go ahead and uh, assemble this issue. Just a couple of steps I believe. So I'll be right back. So the only thing we assemble are the door handles and armrests that are on the left door handle. Now we, we received these in the previous issue. We just had those put away for safekeeping. Now we can bring them out. Now as far as the armrest goes, it's keyed in. You can see there's a, a hole there. Same with the on the armrest. And that simply just inserts there. Just like that. We will use L-type screws to secure that down. go all secure now we'll install the chrome door handle and that's kind of keyed in right there you can kind of see a little key there on the bottom it only goes in one way that's going to be secured with a P type screw so it goes in just like that and we'll put our P screw in And there it is. Here's those pesky Aston Martin DB5 screws. And like I was saying in the intro of, of to the video, I'll show you uh, a chart that I received from Peter Lowe. And uh, it's fantastic. It helps you identify all the screws by the issue number in which they were issued out and lets you know when you're going to use them. I'll show it here on the screen first. But if you want to go ahead and download this chart, it's a two-page chart. You can find it on my Facebook group. And like I was saying, I put a link in the description below on how you can find that. Please join up and sign up with uh, my Facebook group and build along with me. 
that's all we do with uh, stage 39. Now in stage 40 we're going to kind of continue on with that a little bit. So stay tuned for that in another video. So with that, that's all we do here for stage 39. I enjoyed it. Um, this is Remember these are kind of like video logs. So that way you know what you got with each stage and what's being assembled and what's not being assembled. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to this if you haven't done so already. It's going to be an awesome car in 1.8 scale. Huge. Um, if you're a James Bond fan, you definitely want to have this sitting in your library or at your, in your office at work or on your shelf in your, in your man cave or at home. You're going to want to have this. I know it's a fantastic car. So with that, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like and hit the bell. Take care everybody and happy modeling.